We have a very special guest. A lot of airplane people are going to recognize this name as well as the auto cycles. This gentleman has designed many, many airplanes successfully and these auto cycles that we see over here. Jim Beatty's with us today and Jim, uh, we appreciate the effort you made to come here and visit. Uh, you're here for the auto cycles, but you sure like airplanes also. All right. It's very nice to be here. People are wonderful, the weather's great, and the show's phenomenal. Jim, uh, uh, the, the auto cycles remind me of the BD-4. Did, uh, is there any relationship? Yeah, obviously, uh, some of the designs of the airplane, certain aerodynamic features, I tried to incorporate into a ground vehicle, and therefore, there does end up having a similarity. And the end result is the same thing. You get drag reduction, you get better fuel mileage. Well, Jim, when, when uh, you know, all your airplanes designed, you always looked at aerodynamics and efficiency, and boy, you, we still, we really see that in the auto cycle. Yes, uh, the prototype, we took it on a test track, and at 100 miles an hour, it required 10.2 horsepower. So it was a little above idle when we were cruising along like that. Steve Schmidt. Uh, Steve, I wanted to bring you up here. You have a website, autocycles.org. Many people are wanting to know where they can find information on these unique vehicles, and you're the webmaster, and uh, you're also responsible for getting Jim here today, and we appreciate that. Thank you. Well, we're excited to have Jim, and uh, I also wanted to mention, you know, with 25 pulses here, I think that's a testament to the people at Owasso, Michigan, who put together this vehicle and actually built it, and uh, I just think it's wonderful. How many might exist? Well, out of the 350, we've found about 210 probably, and uh, I'm sure there's a few that were destroyed in the last 25 years, but I know there's a lot more in barns and garages, and it seems like every month we find another one, so it's pretty cool. Well, Steve, thank you for your effort. You brought two of them this year, and uh, Jim, again, thank you for visiting us here, and uh, we we'll invite people. You'll be over at the Auto Cycles for anybody who'd like to visit with you. All right, we're good. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs>